Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to change the postcards uh, email template from the default font to a new font. What we're going to do is create a postcards template, download the files, get a new font, and update the code so that the template uses a new font. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is be logged in and then you can press open the app in the postcards website. Next, what we want to do is create a new postcards template. Very, it's very simple to do with this uh, interface. All you have to do is drag and drop pieces that you want. So I'll just drag the menu right here and then it'll ask me if I want to name it. I'll just name it change font. And I'll just continue building this template. All you have to do is drag and drop from the side to the middle area to create your template and now all of a sudden I am done. So next thing I want to do is export this file as a file so that I can edit the HTML code. And to do that, I go to the top right corner and I press export and I press download as a zip. It'll say download zip and it'll begin shortly. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And if I open this, you'll see that there is a index.html file and an images file. I can then just move this to my desktop. And now if I double click this, I will open the template, which looks like this, which is just the same thing that we created just a few seconds ago. And now I can begin editing the code. So if I right click this and I press edit with notepad plus plus, I'll be able to open the notepad plus plus file and look at the code and change the code. So you don't have to understand everything that's going on here. You can just take a look if you want. Uh, it's a lot of auto-generated code that you don't really have to understand to change things. So next we want to get our font. So I've already selected the font that I want to use from Google Fonts, which is Noto Serif. And I'm going to begin adding this font to our file. So to do that, I will press select this font and that will open a new menu that will give me options to customize and have the code to embed it. So I want to customize it because I want to add the bold 700 option to this font. And now I can go back to the embed tab and copy and paste this link and add it to my HTML file. So I want to add that piece of code in between the opening and closing head tag because this is where you add your font link. So to do so, I will just open a new line, paste it, save it, and now my file has access to the Noto Serif font with the font weight of 400 and 700. So next we want to update our default font to this Noto Serif font. You can do that by opening up the find menu by pressing Control F or Command F if you're on Mac. And I want to find the default font, which in this case is called Fira Sans. Fira Sans. And if you just go down the list, you'll see wherever this is updated, not in here, but in the body HTML. So 
wherever there's HTML elements. And you can see that in this A tag, the font family is set to Fira Sans and wherever else in this file, we want to update wherever it says Fira Sans to our font, which is Noto Serif. So to do that, you'll go to the replace tab and you'll find Fira Sans and you want to replace it with Noto Serif as follow. Next, we want to press replace. And as you can see, the font was updated from Fira Sans to Noto Serif here. Next is all Fira Sans. We want to update it. Make sure you don't press replace all because remember in the top area, there was some Fira Sans being defined. And for some reason, if you change that, the font won't update. So we just want to update it wherever it's defined in the body, not in the head area. So I'll just go down and replace, find next, replace. And I'm just going to go down and keep pressing until I reach the top head and now I am back at the top and I want to stop changing the font. I will save the file and now if I go to my browser and I go to index.html, take note of the font that you see. If I refresh the page, it should change. So I will refresh and look at that. It has changed from a serif font to a or from a sans serif font to a serif font. You may have noticed that in the menu words, the text was bolded for, but now it's not bolded. That's because in the previous font, the font weight was set to 500, but our new font does not have that option, only 700. Remember we selected the 700 option in the customize tab. So to change that in our code, we just do the same thing that we did before, only we can search for 500 and replace it with 700. But in this case, we can just press replace all. And if we save it and refresh the page, now the font where it was bolded before is bolded once again. And that is how to change the font from the default font to a new font where you got from Google fonts in your postcards, email, template.